Hi everyone! Welcome to Art Sonia's After School Art Club. Today we have a fun art project from Kat Arguetta, an art teacher from Texas. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Art Sonia gallery. Hi, I'm Kathleen Arguetta and I'm a middle school art teacher at Cavazos Middle School in Lubbock, Texas. Today we'll be designing our name. Come on with me. A piece of paper, a pencil, a black permanent marker, and some colored markers. The first thing that we're going to do is write our name. I'm going to write cat because that's what my family and friends call me. So you're just going to write it the way that you normally write it. C-A-T spells cat. Now we're going to add the design part of our name. So what you're going to do is utilize your writing. Now, starting from whichever end, you can do, choose to do a box or a round outline. I think I'm going to use a boxed outline. So starting on the end, end of the top of my C, going to draw a straight line. Now, this line will determine how thick my letters are going to be. And I want mine pretty big. So from there, I'm going to just follow along where my writing was at. and then come back up. Now, at the bottom, I want it to be around the same thickness as the top. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the outside of my letter. Bringing it all the way around to meet the bottom part. Once you have this, you can erase that first line that you made when you were writing your name. Then you can darken your outline if you'd like. You're going to do the same thing for your other letters. Now, if you end up with a letter like this one, where it's a circled enclosed letter, you want to make sure that you add that circle on the inside. Then you can do the same thing. At thickness and outline. Now, once you are here, you can start to add some cool designs at the ends of your letters. So, right here on the T, I could add a squiggle line or an arrow. It's completely up to you. So, from here, I'm gonna do the exact same technique that I did when I did my letters. Using one single line, I'm going to add a squiggle line. Then, from my T, these two corners here, I'm going to follow and outline that squiggle. Now right here at the end, I don't want it to be thick. I want it to be at a point. So I'm just gonna meet it there. And then right over here, do the exact same thing. Then I will erase the inside line. Now you can do this to any part of your letter. So if I wanted to add an arrow to this part of my C, again, I would just draw my line and then draw the arrow. So again, starting from the corners, come up. And actually I would have to come out a little bit on here and then erase the inside lines. Just like that. Now another cool thing you can do is with this tail of the A, I can bring it to where it comes down underneath the T and up around. So all I have to do is the same thing, starting from here, single line, and have it come outwards. Then starting from the corners of my A, outlining that line I just created, and bringing it 
out like that. Then again, erase that inside line. Just like that. Now, you can add other designs if you want it to, like something coming underneath, and you'll just use that exact same technique. Draw the single line first, and then draw the two lines to outline it. Once you have your name where you want it to be, you can start to color it. You can add polka dots, stripes, zigzags, whatever you'd like on the inside of your letters. So from here, I could do some swirls. Oh, and I completely forgot. You will want to outline these with black before you start coloring. Now that I have it outlined, I can finish my swirls. Then I can do polka dots. Do some stripes and I think I'm going to use both the red and the purple just to kind of bring both colors together in the end. And there you have it guys. You've got a very beautifully designed name that you can show your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye!